Well, good day, everybody. Today is a pretty exciting day. Um, I'm getting ready to harden off all of my pepper plants. So, the best way for me to harden them off without having to carry them outside and inside every day, <coughs> which is a lot, because these pepper plants are big and I got a lot of them. Uh, the best way to do it is just put them in the greenhouse here. And I should be able to leave them in here overnight. Uh, one of the things about growing peppers in the high desert is my peppers uh, do just have to learn to put up with cold nights. Uh, there's just no way around that because uh, I don't have enough days during the summer that don't have cold nights. Um, with that being said, the, the temperatures do stay uh, very decent here in the greenhouse. I haven't really been recording the temperatures with a thermometer or anything, but uh, as you can see the tomato plants are doing great. So I'm really excited about that. I still need to put down some compost and some mulch, but that'll be done when the plastic comes off around the outside of the greenhouse. Uh, that's when I'll throw some compost, worm castings, and some mulch down. Uh, but for now, I can set my pepper plants in between the uh, tomatoes. And the tomatoes are still small enough, and the pepper plants too, to where they can share the light in this greenhouse. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the rest of my pepper plants and just sort of fill in the spaces in here. And after about three weeks here in the greenhouse, these will be hardened off because the the uh, poly roofing blocks uh, something like 99.5% of harmful UV rays. Uh, so it does let enough of the sun rays in that it will harden them off, but it keeps enough of the harmful rays out that we shouldn't see too much uh, damage or browning or anything like that to the leaves. So, uh, I'll give you an update on how hardening off your plants uh, works this way if you're interested and uh, I'm going to get busy. Okay, well I've got all the peppers in here, and uh, like I said, I'm sure there's enough space for everything in here. I want to thank you guys for watching uh, this episode, and be sure to check out my other episodes. I have great episodes on starting gardens, uh, turning dirt into soil, uh, worm composting, the best thing you could do for your garden. It's simple to do, and I also made a great video on how to grow the best organic tomatoes. As always, I want to encourage you guys to grow organically, eat organically, so you can be organic. Happy gardening everybody. Have a good day.